Hey guys, Mason here, and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a bow in Blender. So yeah, so first let's go ahead and go into this view right here. And then just go ahead and click Shift A, then go to Image, then go ahead and grab a reference photo. So this is the reference photo that I'm going to use for my bow that I'm going to make. So, so I'm going to grab it, go ahead and mute, move it back a little bit. Then I'm going to go ahead and go into this view, click it. Then I'm going to go ahead and click R to rotate it until it's like pretty much straight. So boom, that looks just about right. I mean, actually probably just do R then 45. And no, let's do R negative 45. And there we go. That's straight up just like that. And now we're going to go back into this view, shift A, and we're going to go ahead and add a cylinder. Then we're going to go ahead and click tab, S to scale it down, which actually let me go ahead and turn that off. There we go, S to scale it down. And then we're just going to go ahead and align it up with the middle of the bow. So we're going to go ahead and get the exact size. And there we go, that's about the exact size. Now we're going to go ahead and do S, Z to scale it on the Z axis. So just like that. And then we're going to stop just about there because is just about to curve which actually since this is mirrored on like the same side we can actually go into modifiers add modifier then we can go ahead and add the mirror modifier on the z axis so yeah so just like that have it on the z axis then go ahead and turn clipping on because like if you have clipping off then this stuff can go like inside of each other then it's gonna like look all weird so make sure to turn clipping on then let's go ahead and move it back to where it was then we're going to go ahead and grab this top side right here, go back into our view. Then we're going to go ahead and do E to extrude, and then R to rotate it. Then we're going to move it with the G, and then there we go. And now we're just going to like follow this along the bow. So as it slowly gets smaller, then we could go ahead and do S to scale it downward. And then let's go ahead and do R to rotate and move it a little bit with G. And it actually kind of messed that up right there. You can actually do Control Z to go ahead and like go backwards if you make a mistake. And there we go. We are pretty much done. If you want to, you could include this little thing up there. But I'm not going to go ahead and include that because that's not really necessary for us to have. So, boom. There we go. Go ahead and end it off right there. And then it will be the exact same on the bottom because we went ahead and did that on the bottom too. So, yeah, so now we will go ahead and go back into edit mode. Do shift A again to add another cylinder. And now for this cylinder, we're going to scale it down super tiny. And then we'll go, we're going to go ahead and toss it right up there. So let's go ahead and scale it up a little bit more. And then that's about right. And now let's go ahead and move this downward. And actually we can go ahead and move this up because it automatically scales it. And boom, just like that. And then we have our string right there. And now we'll go ahead and do the little arrow in just a second. So now what you want to do, go ahead and go over here. Go ahead and apply that. And now let's go ahead and go to shading, click on this, click new, and then go ahead and drag a photo right here with your like color palette. There we go. I got my color palette right here. So yeah, so basically you just go in your files and drop in a picture right here. And I'll go ahead and collect that to base color. Go in here, go into this one, this tab. Let's do all to select all, U, then project from view. And now let's go ahead and scale this down. So this can be whatever color we want. Let's go ahead and make it like this color right there. And there we go. Now the string, let's go ahead and select that. So the, so the string will be a more whitish color. There we go. And now over here, let's go ahead and try to do that little pattern thing. So let's go ahead and move this to the side a little bit. And let's do Z to go into wireframe mode. And now we can go ahead and easily do this. So we can actually go ahead and add a loop cut right there if we want to. And go ahead and rotate that. Make sure it doesn't like mess anything up. So let's go ahead and do this. And we got to scale it up a little bit to kind of match. 
and go ahead and move it over there we go that's about that's about right it will have a little bump in it maybe but that looks that looks good now let's go ahead and do that for the bottom so for the bottom let's go ahead and do that Control r to go ahead and add a loop cut rotate it scale it a little bit and there we go now let's go ahead and go into here and go ahead and select all the ones we want to do all right we selected all the ones we want to do we can actually go back into solid mode and now for these ones we actually want these to be like kind of a brownish color so we'll go ahead and move those like right there and then above that we want that to be e an even lighter color which actually how is this looking all right that little spot yeah maybe like a little bit darker so let's go ahead and select that again select this little piece then go ahead and make it smaller and by the way we'll go ahead and like smoothen this out in just a little bit now let's go ahead and do the same for the top part so this top part we don't even need to look at that we can actually just go ahead and do this ourselves so boom right there and then we'll go ahead and add one on the bottom so boom like this y'all can go ahead and make this look a lot better i'm just rushing this right now but yeah so let's go ahead and go over here and go ahead and select the ones we want to change the color of all right and we selected those so now for these ones we want these to be a little bit brighter so we can actually go ahead and go over to like this color over here and yeah that looks that looks pretty good so yeah that actually looks surprisingly good so, so now we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna select this we're gonna select this let's go ahead and go back into this mode right click then go shade smooth and then it may look a little bit weird so go ahead and click this little triangle down here go into normals auto smooth and then you can go ahead and change that to however you want and there we go that go ahead, goes ahead and smoothens it all out so there we go that is our bone nice and done so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and make the arrow so let's go ahead and toss that to the side the arrow should be super easy so let's go ahead and do shift a add a cylinder edit mode go ahead and scale that down go ahead and move it right over here go ahead and scale it up a little bit so for this one we don't need a mirror modifier because this one is super easy so let's go ahead and move it just about there go ahead and grab the bottom and then let's go ahead and gotta go back over here so grab the bottom go to this view and now let's go ahead and just grab that and pull it down all the way down here so now for the bottom we want it to look a little bit curved so we're going to go ahead and curve that out a little bit and there we go then last one and all right nice and curved bottom now for the top we're going to go ahead and move this down just a tad a bit so we're going to go ahead and line that up with the bottom then we're going to go ahead and click e click then s to extrude it just like this and now we're just going to go ahead and click e to extrude move that up to just about there and now we're going to go ahead and do s then zero and there we go that makes it a fine point and there we go there is our little point at the top right there and now for the bottom for the bottom what we're going to do for these we're going to go ahead and click this right here to go into this mode grab one of these vertices do shift d then click G to go ahead and move it to the side. Go ahead and move it to this little quarter. Then go ahead and extrude it. Move the line right there. Then extrude again to move it right there. And let's go ahead and move it down a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and click extrude again to move it down here. Extrude again to move it down here. Then we're going to go ahead and click this point and this point. Click both of them. Right click merge vertices at first. Then go ahead and click G to go ahead and move that back. And there we go and then this one you can just trace that again if you want to do it for this one but we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate this on both sides so now once you have this go ahead and click one of the vertices then click L to go ahead and select it all then go ahead and click F to fill it in and now as you will see it will look pretty flat so go ahead and click it then go ahead and click E to extrude it and extrude it however long you want and then that looks about good so now let's go ahead and grab that go back to this view let's go ahead and move the bow out of our way so over here back to this view now let's go ahead and grab this and move it in the middle 
and that's about good now we'll go ahead and do shift D then R Z 180 and then go ahead and move this one right over here again for the arrow go to shading new then go ahead and grab a color here we go there's our color palette go ahead and go UV editing all this and wrong way you project from view then we'll go ahead and have this one like around the same color kind of so go ahead and put it right there go ahead and select the tip and since we actually made the tip part of this arrow we have to go ahead and select the size like this then go ahead and select the bottoms just like this and there we go now we'll go ahead and make this one black and where did it go there we go go ahead and make it black and then these we'll go ahead and click ll and then we'll go ahead and make these brown and there we go there is our air arrow with our bow just like this then we can go ahead and delete that and there we go so, so that is how you make a bow and an arrow on blender so that's gonna be all for this video though so make sure to leave a like subscribe and turn on post notifications and i'll see y'all in the next video